everyone, I hope you're all good. So today's video is another P.O. Box slash Blogger Mail haul. I think this is my third one now. I really enjoy doing them and I like. I think you guys do t enjoy it. And I think you guys enjoy them too. So I'm really excited to show you some bits that I've been sent recently. I'm not going to do a disclaimer on this video because I've done them in the past too. And I'm sure you know the crack by now. First up, I'm going to start with something that I have been loving. I got this a while ago actually, but um, I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet. It's the Elizabeth Arden, and they've sent their eight hour skincare range. I've had a sample of their eight hour cream for a while now, and I do use it whenever I get like a little bit of eczema or dry patches. They sent kind of a selection of their whole eight hour cream range, and I have not been able to get enough of this stuff. I've grabbed them from all over my room and put them back in this box so you can see kind of what it came like but I have been using all of these. First up is their new 8 hour cream all over miracle oil. This is amazing. It's basically like a multi-purpose oil. You can use it on your hair, you can use it on your face, on your body um, and it's just, it smells amazing. It's so moisturising, doesn't leave you greasy or oily at all. It's just such a nice product. I've been absolutely loving this and it has been helping my eczema on my legs as well. If you saw the eczema on my legs in the last vlog that I did, I will leave a link in the down bar. Um, go and check that out because it has been quite bad and this has been sorting it out. I'm also obsessed with the 8 hour cream intensive lip repair balm. I pretty much use this multiple times a day every day since I've got it. I'm really worried that I'm going to run out and um, but I, this is something I will 100% definitely repurchase now. It's just a really really great lip balm. Also in the range is their 8 hour cream skin protectant nighttime miracle moisturiser. I've been using this probably about 2-3 times a week. I've also been using it on Andrew because he gets really dry skin kind of around um, weirdly enough around his t-zone and a little bit on his cheek he's just got really dry skin it, I love the instructions it says to like gently warm between your hands breathe in the soothing scent of lavender as you lightly massage it onto the face it's just a really nice very thick kind of balmy oil but I've really enjoyed using it there's obviously their 8 hour cream this is the original kind of skin protectant again a multi-purpose product they also have some 8 hour cream lipsticks I haven't actually use these yet but the colours are super pretty and they do look very moisturising. Have you guys tried the Elizabeth Arden 8 on cream? Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Next is a cute little goodie bag from Benefit and they've got some new priming products out and this is just the cutest thing. Firstly because they've sent some professional Cocoa Pops. They are mental. Actually they look more like Rice crispy. They've sent across their Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow um, foundation. I have tried this but it was a really long time ago so I might give this another go. They've also sent, so this is the new Professional Matte Rescue. So it's an invisible finish mattifying gel, a lot like the original Professional but matte. I haven't tried this yet but I'm really excited because I am very into my primers at the moment. I've been really getting into them, I think they really do make a difference um, and the packaging of this is really cute. Kind of looks like a green slime smells like their skincare range and it has left my hand very matte and smooth they are so cute they've sent a toothbrush and toothpaste they've got their own branded professional toothpaste for pearly white and then finally they've sent this which is what I'm most excited about it's their professional instant wipeout masks so they are face masks that go kind of over your t-zone I think and it just looks really cool I think I'm gonna do this with Andrew because um, I think this will be really funny in a vlog maybe or something. Let me know if you'd like to see that. And the thing I most like about it is it says you have to press here. So you press that and then all the kind of good ingredients soak onto the pad and then you can pop the mask on. I guess. Batiste have a new dry shampoo out. This is in the smell Sweetie and it has some little love hearts on the top. I haven't actually tried this yet but I'm going to try it now for you. Ooh. Mm, this smells really good. I I'm not entirely sure what it smells like, but I can get a whiff of Palmer Violets. Just a really like powdery sweet smell, which I am definitely a fan of. And also how cute is the packaging? Kind of those little cute dolls on. Next is something I'm very excited about. YSL have sent over some new products. First is the limited edition Touche Clark and it's the slogan edition. And my one says on it, I am not a morning person. And I just think this is 
so cute i love it when ysl do limited edition tusha clarts i've got another one as well with kind of like a leopard print on it and it just looks so cute in my makeup bag they also sent over some of their new rouge Volup shines oil in sticks and these are the new um like shiny ones and they've sent over a variety of shades i've got a full blog post with these that may or may not be up on my blog by the time this video goes live but i will leave a link to that in the down bar so you can see with swatches and like a really nice close up of just how beautiful these colours are. I just love the packaging. It's so luxurious. I'm going to show you my favourite one which is the shade 47. Because it's just such a nice nude. And they all smell like watermelon. I'm going to show you all the nice high end makeup now. Because I'm in the mood to talk about it all. These are the new Lancome Juicy Shakers. I'm sure you've seen them on a lot of blogs and YouTube channels recently. Because they've just launched... They are kind of little, I'd say, sheer lip tints. Um, and the premise is that you shake them up and then you open it. And the product is in there and you get this little cone bullet and you pat it into the lips. And they just leave, leave a really nice kind of sheer wash of colour. NARS have just launched their new Narcissist palettes. Oh my god, I've been using this. I shouldn't have used this before I'd filmed this video. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. They're so nice. So these were launched um, for London Fashion Week. NARS have decided that every London Fashion Week they will bring out a new palette. Which I'm so excited about. I love palettes, especially NARS ones. So first up, we have the eyeshadow palette, which is just to die for. Today I'm wearing this one, this one, this one, and some of the black one as well. I just love how big the pans are. You're going to get a lot of use out of this eyeshadow palette. And I think the colours are so wearable. There's a really nice um, variety of matte and shimmer shades, which I love. I just love this palette so, so much. And they also have a cheek one which I will show you, it looks like this. Again, it's perfect. It has a couple of nice contour and bronze shades, highlight, and then a selection of really beautiful kind of peachy pinks to bright, um, vibrant neon pinks, just something there for everyone. I feel really lucky because Estee Lauder have sent me some new products and I'm in love with these so much. I've got three eyeshadow palettes. The first is called Savage Storm and it's just a really pretty selection of greys and browns. I just love the packaging as well. I love the magnetic lid. It's so luxurious. We've got Dark Ego which is quite similar but it has a lot of blues blue kind of tinted eyeshadows and then finally we have provocative petal this is one of my favorites it's kind of matte nudey brown shades they've also sent their voluptuous knockout defy defining lift and fan mascara i haven't tried an essay lauder mascara in god knows how long but the packaging of this one is so nice it's kind of like a matte black and it's a plastic bristle brush which I really like because it means you can get really deep into the lashes and really comb them through. They've also sent a couple of their new um, eyeliners. These are the Double Wear Infinite Waterproof Eyeliners. We've got a black shade which is perfect and we've got a purple shade as well. And these are super creamy and pigmented. Next up we have some Dolce & Gabbana beauty products. So we've got two of the matte lipsticks. I love matte lipsticks so I'm very excited about these. This is 223 and it's a beautiful kind of matte tea rose pink and then we've got the shade 512 which is kind of similar but a lot brighter more more of a barbie pink. I've also got something I'm really excited about. They've got a matte nail top coat. I am all about matte nails at the moment. I've been applying matte top coats on top of all nail varnishes I've been wearing, especially really pale nude nail varnishes. I just think matte top coats look so pretty over almost so they look like mannequin nails. This is from D&G Beauty and it's so, so good. I received this in the post and I love it. It's the new autograph makeup range that is in collaboration with Rosie Huntington Whiteley who is such a babe. I follow her on Snapchat and every day I'm just like, oh, she's so perfect. I love the rose gold packaging. I think that entirely does it for me. So we've got an eyeshadow palette, which is just a nice, pretty couple of browns, a shimmer and like a moss green shade. We've got a lip bullet, which is a lovely bright red. An eyeliner pen, which is my favourite. I'm so excited to use this. I just love the packaging. A highlighter and 
I, I love highlighter sticks like this, but the colour is so unique. It's like a grey shade, but it does leave really pretty highlight, surprisingly enough. I have some perfumes for you. The first is the new Gucci Bamboo. I love this perfume. The packaging is so unique. It kind of reminds me of a hammerhead shark. It has base notes of Tahitian vanilla and amber and sandalwood, which are all some of my absolute favourite scents. I think that's why I love this perfume so much. But it is also quite floral. It has ylang ylang and lily and orange blossom in it as well. So they're kind of the first notes that you originally smell, but then it will settle down to like a really nice smoky sandalwoody vanilla scent. I also have the Dolce & Gabbana Rosa El Excelsa perfume. This is new and um, they bought it out for Mother's Day but it's going to continue to be out for quite a while. The packaging is super cute. It has like a nice rose lid. It contains exotic fruity papaya blossom, fresh neroli leaves. I love neroli. It's one of my favourite scents. It also has some white water lily, white daffodil and again it ends on notes of sandalwood, musk and cashmere such a pretty beautiful light easy to wear feminine fragrance and I've also been given the Stella McCartney perfume I'd never smelt this before but um I absolutely love it now it's so beautiful I love the packaging it's just so classic it will look absolutely beautiful on top of my makeup desk so again it has base notes of amber and kind of woody notes top notes consist of roses and peony so it's a really kind of floral scent it has mandarin um, and rose so really really beautiful easy to wear fragrance again I just love the packaging I want to show you this it is a chroma stationery notebook they sent it to me and they've put the logo of my blog and my youtube channel on it which is a picture of my eyes like kind of inverted they are my eyes and they've also put my initials ks at the bottom and i love the color of this notebook it's such a nice kind of muted bluey purple shade i love chroma stationery you can basically personalize any notebooks and perfect for gifts perfect for friends if you've got any birthdays coming up I'm very excited to show you some new real techniques products we have got the on location travel essentials kit i've never seen this before i'm so happy about this it contains a multitask brush, which is nice, big, fat and fluffy, but also quite dense. I think this will be great for powder. The essential foundation brush, which is this one. And it also contains the domed shadow brush, which is my favourite. I actually use this for concealer because it's so perfectly dense and fluffy. You can really kind of buff that into the skin on any blemishes so I love this and they've also got a new bold metals edition this is the triangle concealer brush it looks like a mini one of their um, bold metals foundation brush completely flat on one end and pointed at the other so you can really kind of get up in those get up in those creases I want to show you this bag because I love it I actually picked this out from the case logic website I am desperately in need of a camera bag I'm traveling with my camera so much at the moment and I can't find anything suitable to keep it safe and protected in. Um, so I love this one. This is the Reflection Messenger Bag. Um, if you have an iPad, it will be perfect to fit that in there. It's got a, like, a little slip for there. Um, nice lots of room and it's got the added removable camera case as well in. So even if you got this and you didn't want to have this bag on a certain occasion, you could take this bit in and just put all your camera bits in there. I just like how many compartments it has it's just really great for traveling i wish it did fit my laptop in though that's the only problem it'd be perfect if you could fit my laptop in as well got some bits from soap and glory it's been so difficult trying not to use these soap and glory products because i wanted to show you them first before i use them they have got some new highlight and sculpt cheek sticks in the first is a blush it's the love at first blush it's such a pretty color it's like Nars Orgasm in a stick, like the perfect rosy gold shade. I've got the Glow All Out Highlighter, very similar to that Rosie Huntington Whiteley one for autograph actually, but a little bit creamier and paler. This is really pretty on the highlight, I reckon. If you'd like swatches of these on my blog, let me know in the comments and I can get on that. And then we've also got a Wonder Bronze, which is the bronzer. I might try this for contouring. 
and I'll let you know how that goes. They've also sent a matte lipstick. This is super pretty. A sexy mother pucker. I've never tried the sexy mother pucker plumping gloss before. I tried them when I was like 15 and they really stung my lips. I don't know if lip plumpers have changed since then but I hope it doesn't sting. And then we also have the Archery Brow Putty Dip Pot and Brush and this is the thing I'm most excited about because I love Soap and Glory brow products. It's basically a little um, brush on one end and in the other end in the lid you've got the product so you can just kind of sweep that out there and apply it perfect for if you're on the go. Tangle Teaser have sent a new brush this is the thick and curly brush for thick wavy and afro hair oh my god that's amazing the brushes look insane I'm so excited about this because my hair is so thick it takes so long to brush through especially after washing um, and I know my sister really like this as well because her hair is so thick and curly. It takes her a good like half an hour to detangle in the bath. I'm really excited to try this. L'Oreal have sent me their Magic Retouch sprays. These are instant root concealer sprays. I don't think I will use this because my hair is very, very pale. And this is a very, very yellow blonde. Um, but I might give this one, the brown one, to my mum. She does get a little bit self-conscious about her grey hair sometimes and this looks like a great colour for her. So I'll give this for her to try and I will let you know what she thinks of it. It's literally like an aerosol can. Birchbox have a shine bright like a diamond one. I love this one. I'm not quite sure when this one came out. But it's so cute and I love what it contains because it contains a mini version of the Ole Enriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster and I love this stuff. If you haven't tried this, go try it. It's really helped to clear up my acne. It also contains a mini Frat Boy The Balm Blusher. I was sent some body lotions. This is from the brand Patisserie de Ban and the reason I love these is because of the smells. We have Cranberries and Cream. This is a hand and body lotion. Reminds me of the Body Shop's cranberry range that comes out limited edition at Christmas. We've got Lemon Bonbon. I'm very excited to smell these. Oh, that's so good. If you like sour, if you like lemons, you will love that one. This reminds me of summer, actually, Lemon Bonbon. And finally, we have Sweet as Cherry Pie. Oh, <laughs> it smells like marzipan. That is amazing. Trilogy is a skincare brand that I haven't used much of, but I keep seeing about it. So they've got a balancing base lotion. And I like the sound of this because it's good for combination oily skin, which I definitely have. I've got some new Lizelle bits, which I'm so excited about. I've got their Instant Boost Skin Tonic Spritzer. I've never tried this before, but I love the packaging. And I do love a good spritz after applying my makeup and also after washing my face to put a little bit of moisture back in and I've also got the hot cloth cleanser I've run out on my last one I just love the muslin cloths that come with it they're so so good so I really hope you've enjoyed this video do give me a big thumbs up if you have let me know that Leave me a comment, let me know what of this would you would like to see reviews of and what your favourite product would be to receive. And I will be back again soon with another video. If you have any videos you would like me to see me do, can't talk today, then do let me know and I will try my best to accommodate all of your suggestions. I really hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you again next week. Bye!